we have an update now on some breaking news. We brought you at five. A teen is now dead after being shot in Fairfax County. Yeah, another teen is also shot out. It's all happened late this afternoon on Copper Mine Road in McNair. Our Northern Virginia reporter Max Marcilla joining us there live and Max police just gave an update within the last few minutes and they say that shooter does remain on the run right now. And Chris and Elisa, we now know exactly what happened and where it happened. Take a look at this parking lot behind us. This is where they say an altercation between three teenagers who all knew each other happened. Now, what police say went down was there was some dispute. They did not say over what, but in that dispute, one of the three teenagers opened fire, hitting a teenage boy and missing another. Police say that teenage boy who was shot has passed away and is dead. The suspect, the person who fired the shot, the teenager who fired those shots is still out there and police and SWAT teams are out there looking for that teenager right now. The third teenager was not injured, but is considered a victim of that shots fired incident. All of this had a widespread response. A nearby elementary school was on lockdown for a little bit, and this it really sparked some emotions in police who say this is just a really hard crime scene to see because of the ages and what happened. Absolutely. First of all, we have a, we have a teenager who's dead and shouldn't be. Um, and I can't imagine anything more devastating for, for that kid's family. So absolutely, I'm a parent myself. Um, my, my child is an adult now, and I can't imagine um, what any parent would be thinking or feeling, uh, expecting their, their child to come home for dinner and, and, and doesn't make it. So I, I think anybody who's a parent can relate to the fact that that would be devastating. And, and obviously our thoughts definitely go out to them. Now, throughout this afternoon, this has been a really heavy place to be, a really difficult place to be because there have been a number of people, both young teenage boys and girls, as well as some of their parents who have walked by. Some of them say they know the person who was shot. And it's been really emotional at times. There have been tears shed, especially when they found out the news that the teenage boy has died. So it's been really a difficult scene here emotionally, both for the police, as you heard, and for people walking by trying to figure out exactly what happened. As for the investigation that is still ongoing, police say they don't anticipate having any update throughout the night as far as on camera press briefings, which you heard one in the last half hour, but they do say they are searching for that suspect. Reporting live in Fairfax County, Max Marcilla, DC News Now.